I am Dr. M. Shekhar, Assistant Professor, Department of Chemistry, Ramakrishna Mishnudele, College of Arts and Science, Coimbatore. Today, we have the lecture on surface chemistry. Surface chemistry is nothing but the reactions will be takes place in the solid surface. There are three phase reactions is there. One is gas phase reactions, liquid phase reactions, solid phase reactions. The gas phase reactions, the reactions will be takes place in the gas phases. So both reactants are gases. In the liquid phase reactions, the reactions will be take place in the liquid phase, both reactants are liquids. In the solid phase reactions, both reactants are solids, the reactions will be take place in the solid phase. So what is surface chemistry? Surface chemistry is nothing but reactions will be take place in the solid surface. For example, synthesis of sulfur dioxide 2SO2 plus O2 V2O5 solid will give 2SO3. Another is uh, N2 plus 3H2 will give 2NH3. FeTO3 solid. Unsaturated hydrocarbon that is oils on nickel surface will give saturated hydrocarbon fats. So these three reactions is an example of surface reactions. For example, sulfur dioxide gas oxygen gas both adsorbed in the solid surface V2O5. Sulfur dioxide gas, oxygen gas both adsorbed in the solid surface V2O5 solid will give the product SO3 gas. So the reactions will be takes place in the surface of the V2O5 solid. So that is why it is called surface reaction. Another reaction N2 gas N2 gas, H2 gas will be adsorbed in the solid surface of Fe2O3 will give the ammonia gas. Here this Fe2O3 solid adsorbs both reactants N2 and H2 will give the product ammonia. Another example is unsaturated hydrocarbon that is oils on adsorbed in the nickel surface will give the saturated hydrocarbon fats. So these three reactions is an example of surface reactions, the reactions will be takes place in the solid surface. First reaction, the solid is V2O5 solid. The second reaction, the solid is Fe2O3 solid. And third reaction, the solid is nickel solid. So, another is, what is adsorption? Adsorption is the process, the atoms or molecules of one substance gets attracted by the atoms or molecules surface of the another substance. For example, when you take the solid surface, charcoal, here it is an oxalic acid, so this is an oxalic acid molecule, so atoms or molecules of one substance gets attracted by the surface of the another solid. Here the oxalic acid molecules gets attracted by the surface of the charcoal. So this type of process is nothing but adsorption. So the concentration of oxalic acid molecule in the interface between the two phase in is more. That is the surface of the solid surface, that is charcoal surface, the concentration of oxalic acid molecule is more. So here the oxalic acid is called adsorbate, the charcoal is called adsorbent. So the atoms of molecules of oxalic acid gets attracted by the solid surface of charcoal. So this type of process is called adsorption. Another example is adsorption of hydrogen gas or oxygen gas on nickel surface. So this type of process is called adsorption. So the substance which is going to adsorb in the solid surface is called adsorbate. The substance which takes the gases or liquids is called adsorbent, usually it is the solids. 
So this is usually a liquid or gas. There are three type of processes there. One is adsorption, another is absorption, another is sorption. So absorption is the surface phenomena. For example, we take this. So this is the adsorbent. And this is, is an adsorbate. So this adsorbate molecules gets attracted by the surface of the adsorbent because adsorption is the surface phenomena. The surface of the adsorbent gets, gets attracted the molecules of the adsorbate. So this will adsorb and formation of layer above this adsorbent. So this type of process is called adsorption. Next what is absorption? Absorption so this is adsorbent and this is adsorbate. Here this absorption process the adsorbate molecule are distributed uniformly throughout this adsorbent. It is a bulk phenomena. This a bulk phenomenon and this is the surface phenomenon. Here the adsorbent molecule surface only it will take the adsorbate molecules. Here this adsorbent molecules the adsorbate is distributed throughout the adsorbent that is this adsorbate molecules are going inside the adsorbate going inside the adsorbate. Next is sorption. Sorption is nothing but both side simultaneous adsorption and absorption. So this is adsorbent and this is adsorbate. So sorption is the process for the both simultaneous adsorption and absorption. Here this adsorbate molecules are uniformly distributed into the adsorbent and also the surface of the adsorbent also. What is this is the three different process adsorption, absorption, sorption. So absorption is the surface phenomena, the surface of the adsorbent only it will take the adsorbate molecules. Absorption is the bulk phenomena, this adsorbent is throughout complete adsorbent it will take the adsorbent molecules, it is completely distributed throughout the adsorbent, it is a bulk phenomena. Sharpson is the simultaneous adsorption and absorption, this adsorbate molecules are going inside this adsorbent are distributed into the adsorbent and also the surface of the adsorbent. So this is the three different process adsorption, absorption and sorption. Next is difference between adsorption and absorption. Next difference between adsorption and absorption. Adsorption absorption so first point is it is a surface phenomena it is a bulk phenomenon second is it is a fast process. It is a slow process. Third is attains equilibrium. Very easily. attains equilibrium takes time the fourth one is it depends on surface area of the adsorbent. 
it is not depends on surface area of the adsorbent. So, this is the fourth difference before difference between adsorption and absorption. So, first difference is it is a surface phenomena, it is a bulk phenomena. What is surface phenomena? For the adsorption process, the adsorbent surface only it will take the adsorbate molecules. So, what is bulk phenomena? The adsorbent completely it will take the adsorbate molecules or uniformly distributed the adsorbate molecules into the adsorbent. The, it is a fast process, it will take very fast, it is a slow process, then attains equilibrium very easily, attains equilibrium takes time. What is equilibrium? That is the equilibrium between the adsorbent and adsorbate. And, and another is, fourth last difference is, it depends on the surface area of the adsorbent, surface area of the adsorbent, more surface area, more adsorption. And absorption is not depends on the surface area of the adsorbent. The example is adsorption of atmospheric moisture on silica gel. So, this is an example of adsorption. Example of absorption is absorption of absorption of atmospheric moisture on calcium chloride. So, this is the example of absorption that is absorption of atmospheric moisture on calcium chloride. This is an absorption of atmospheric moisture on silica gel. So, this is the four difference between the adsorption and absorption. Next, types of adsorption. Two types of adsorption. One is physical adsorption. Absorption or physisorption or Van der Waals absorption. Physical absorption or physisorption or Van der Waals absorption. Another is chemical adsorption or chemisorption. So, physical adsorption or physisorption or Van der Waals absorption. Chemical adsorption or chemisorption. So, example is adsorption of H2 or O2 on charcoal. Here is an example of adsorption of hydrogen gas on nickel solid. So, what is physical adsorption, physisorption or Van der Waals absorption? Here, when you take the adsorbent surface, here the adsorbent is charcoal. Adsorbate is gas that is hydrogen gas or oxygen gas. The force acting between the adsorbate, adsorbate the force acting between the adsorbate and the adsorbent is physical force. Physical force is nothing but Van der Waals force. Van der Waals force of attraction between Van der Waals force of attraction 
between the adsorbent and adsorbate that is a physical force acting between the adsorbent and adsorbate that is why it is called physical adsorption or physisorption or van der Waals absorption. What is chemical absorption? Chemical absorption is the force acting between the adsorbate and adsorbent, adsorbent is nickel, here is in hydrogen gas. So there is a chemical bond between the adsorbent and adsorbate, whether it is a covalent bond or ionic bond. Chemical force acting between the surface of the adsorbent with this adsorbate, that is why it is called as chemical adsorption or chemisorption. For example, adsorption of hydrogen on nickel surface, nickel hydrogen gas, physical adsorption So there is a weak bond chemical adsorption chemical bond so absorption of hydrogen on surface of the nickel so hydrogen absorbed on the surface of the nickel for physical absorption the force between this hydrogen atom and the nickel surface is weak bond that is weak van der Waals forces so that is why it is called physical absorption here this again it is decomposed and then leads to chemical adsorption the force acting between this hydrogen atom and the nickel surface is chemical force there is a chemical bond whether it is a covalent bond or ionic bond is formed in between this nickel surface and hydrogen atom that is it is called chemical adsorption. So chemical adsorption is nothing but the force acting between the adsorbent and adsorbate is chemical force whether it is a covalent bond or ionic bond. Physical adsorption is the force acting between the adsorbent and adsorbate is the physical force that is Van der Waals force. It is a weak force. 